So I'm here shivering with the Daydream Club who are Adam and Paula at uh, Cookie Jar just before we perform. Um, I haven't seen you guys in like a year and a half. What have you been doing since then? Oh, God. Um, Could you yeah. compact everything <laughs> yeah. down? Yeah. <laughs> what did we do yesterday? Uh, Not that bad. Um, I think since the last time we saw you, had we done the record store day release? I think it was just a, maybe about that time, yeah. Yeah, so we did uh, a limited edition vinyl release for Record Store Day, um, which was cool because it was our first vinyl. Yeah. Oh, it's going back ages. Yeah, I know. We've done, we worked with Burberry, uh, <coughs> on a, featured on a eyewear campaign. Well, we did, did we do Burberry Acoustic? First? I'm skipping a bit then. I'm oh, just okay. doing what came to mind, what yeah, I remembered yeah. at that point in time. Yeah, mm. we did Burberry Acoustic first and then they like really liked our session and wanted to do more so we you like the cut of our jib you like the cut <laughs> of our jib so and our eyes obviously uh, oh no maybe not because they hid them yeah. uh, I don't know um, okay yeah because we were doing an eyewear campaign so okay. uh, we did, did so for that, that we, we did a video um, modelling shoot Ooh. and uh, our music was featured in the, in the campaign oh, so it's quite a big deal yeah yeah so can I come in more up to date? You've just finished work on an EP. How's yeah. that been going? Really cool. It sounds awesome, if I do say so myself, but I'm going to it It kind of picks up where we left off with a uh, song of our, one of our singles called Neon Love Song Part 2, which was the one featured on, in Burberry. Yeah. And it kind of takes that, because we started adding strings and drums then anyway. More instrumentation. And this carries on and adds a few more stuff. Yeah. And a bit a more, more, a bit, bit more cinematic. <laughs> Yeah. Epically D intimate, I like to call it. Yeah. Did I see that you've actually put that on like free download? Over we've done. No, we've, that was, that the was last, the last release we've done. Uh, we did last year. We won a songwriting award uh, for new creativity. It was like, uh, yeah, it was just like a London composition yeah. thing. Um, and for that, we got to record the song, and it's in Cafe Nero's and stuff between three and four. Ooh. So yes, if you want to hear so it, so we're told. Anyway, you keep we haven't we haven't actually heard it yet because we've not we uh, obviously right. don't drink enough coffee. <laughs> yeah, or, uh, enough like brand ones. Um, but it's kind of a, a romantic song, so we released it as a free download for the for Valentine's Day. I yeah. can't believe it's not free. <laughs> Really? Yeah, really? yeah. We did it for a limited time only, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that's done now, and I have to buy it. Yeah. 79 pence. Yeah. <laughs> do you feel that kind of like bands trying to establish themselves kind of have to do that to sort of get interest? I don't interest? think you have to. I um, don't think we would have done it actually, but because we did it through a competition, we, so we kind of presented an opportunity it. to mm. give the fans something back. So we, we, have, yeah. we have good fans that you know do support us. And, yeah. And it, it just sort of came around like that. We were like, oh, it's Valentine's Day in two weeks, we should give the track away. Yeah. Fair enough. It just, we just Which is why we only did it for a certain period of time as well, because then our current fans are rewarded with it yeah. as such, but then mm. any new fans will have to earn their, yeah, their, yeah. You know, <laughs> their loyalty allegiance. from us. Yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> 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 yeah. Um, so you guys are local to Leicester, um, the predominant amount of your yeah. time. Yeah. Um, what are you guys thinking of the scene at the moment? Because recently the monograph has gone out of print. What are your kind of thoughts on that sort of side of things? I think, it, I mean, it's difficult for everyone at the minute. Um, uh, to be honest, actually, we're, we're playing at Crumbling Cookie tonight, and I think Tinny, the guy who runs it, is managing to get a bit of a, a thing going. We were talking about this earlier, how you know, he's actually getting touring bands passing through the venue, and there's more and more interest building. He keeps adding bits to the venue. And he's really pushing it. So I it think, could really mm, pick there's up There's a scene developing again, it yeah. It could pick up where kind of the Charlotte left off, where there was always big touring bands passing through the Charlotte. And I think, yeah, this is the sort of place that could do it. Yeah. So that could be a great thing for Leicester if it does. Cool. So what's coming up this spring for you guys? What are you working on, looking forward to? Festivals, it's, isn't it really? Yeah, festivals. I mean, it's all about the EP for us. I mean, we've been focused on writing it for ages and recording it ourselves. And uh, we've just been getting it mastered, doing the artwork for it. But it's kind of, now we're taking the time to try and plan how to get the very, you know, the most out of it that we possibly yeah. can and get it to as many people as possible. So that, that we're going to take some time with that. Yeah, we want to do it right. Uh, we want to just, you know, for a, I think of another word, spaff it out <laughs> and then it not get too many people. Right, yeah, fair that's enough. enough. <laughs> 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 Lovely image Once you've thought of it, that's it. It's yeah, good. yeah. Well, fantastic. Thanks so much for catching up with us and hopefully we'll talk to you more in a few months. Yeah, that'd cool. be cool. Cool, thank Cheers. you. You can say more. <laughs>